Axis Y Skincare Review Part 2 AY and Me Collection Rolling. Hello, friends. Welcome to my PM skincare routine, aka now I look even more tired. Can you believe I actually have some updates for you in part two? So as I was making the links for the part one video, I realized that at the bottom of the Yes Style page, the description for Axis Y says, this skincare brand is made for oily and acne-prone skin. I don't know if I should be more or less surprised that I'm over here saying, oh, this brand actually works really well for me because I'm 50% of that, dry and acne prone. Anyway, this routine is indeed going to be using the Made For Me By Me AY and Me collection. So what this is, is a, a brand new collection. At the time that Axis White introduced this, there were only three products, there are now five. So I'm only gonna review the three that I bought in this video, obviously, but I'll, I'll tell you about the other two. What's really interesting about this collection is that we can kind of just do a conversation on what it is. And while I'll show you all of the products, it, it really does apply to all of the products in this collection. Simply summarized, they are products that feature prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics and postbiotics. All of them contain this five ingredient blend where it seems that bifida ferment lysate is the ingredient that is used in the highest percentage with a specific product having 78% bifida ferment lysate and that is the biome radiating intensified essence. You just watched my brain get stuck on the word radiating. I know what it means in a skincare sense, but I just got confused for a moment. Really bright flash of blue light. And this whole made for me, by me thing is supposed to refer to the over 1,000 participants in 68 different countries that gave their feedback on what they want in their skincare products. And this collection is the final result. I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm not surprised that this is what people wanted, this kind of uh, tinted packaging, the emphasis on, in particular, bifida. What does surprise me is that this entire collection does contain essential oil ingredients. But at the same time, if I step outside of my own little skincare bubble here on YouTube, I think there actually are people that enjoy essential oil ingredients. It's just, it just doesn't feel like it's YouTube. Nonetheless, interesting choices in the essential oil ingredients. They're all kind of the uh, uh, tree-based essential oil ingredients. Uh, some patchouli, actually. There's, there's some patchouli in these. Don't worry, it doesn't smell too hippie-ish. Yeah, it smells a little bit like a farmer's market. I did notice the essential oil blend is similar to the essential oil blend in the sunscreen. So that's interesting. But again, I think the biggest surprise of all is that, oh my God, I love this collection. I love this collection. What I've been doing with it is I've been using it again at night right before my Adapalene. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything I do leading up to my Adapalene application, and then I follow with a heavier cream. More on that later. So let's go ahead and get into this routine. Again, a brand new product that is released is a cleansing oil. I feel like Axis Y does recognize that this is kind of a PM collection. So I've already cleansed my skin. We are gonna go ahead and dive right into the first product that I have, which is the Biome Comforting Infused Toner. Because I'm me, I added a sprayer to this. I will admit to you, I might take it off. I might take it back off because uh, it's a product that is a little bit more thick in its texture, which doesn't really spray all that well, admittedly. I wish it did, <laughs> patchouli. Simply because I prefer a mist toner, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't spray that well. It's You're supposed to pour it into your hands, and even with spraying it, I need to spread it. That said, I like it. I, I like it. I feel like it is a nice, nourishing toner. Again, rich in bifida, rich in prebiotics. Yeah, the Centella Asiatica, the Artemisia Princeps, those ingredients make perfect sense to me in terms of what the uh, 1,000 participants would have wanted. Still somewhat perplexed on the essential oils. As for the... Probably the standout product. I, I have to say it's probably the standout product. The essence that I was showing you earlier. This, in spite of its name, is really more of a serum. 
a serum with 78% bifida ferment lysate. Oh, in case you aren't familiar with that ingredient, that is a postbiotic ingredient that is also used in products from uh, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair to the uh, Lancome Genifique collection. It's been around for a while and uh, it seems K-Beauty has picked it up and is making products that are at much more affordable price points. This collection is, at least currently, a little bit more expensive than most of Access Wise products. I mean, on, on the Yes Style and Style Vana website, you can find most of the products I talked about in part one for under $15, $8, $10. They have great price points. But this collection is currently hovering between about $25 and $30. I do wonder if the prices will come down over time. I mean, I think that's usually how things go. I, again, am not including prices in this video because they just fluctuate so, so wildly with K-Beauty retailers. But always check Yes Style and Stylevana. And again, I have uh, discount codes in the description box below if you are interested in getting a discount on those sites. But yeah, Bifida Ferment Lysate, a very well-loved ingredient. This is the product that you're going to have that in the highest concentration with. Again, though, not in essence. It's a serum. I don't know why they call it an essence. It's not the first time I've encountered this though. There are a few uh, Korean beauty products that call themselves an essence and yet you look at the packaging and you go, no, that's, that's going to be a serum. This video is going to be short and sweet. We're already on my last product, which is a very interesting concept because it's kind of two products in one. It's called the Biome Recharging Night Renewal Set. And what you get is this kind of more lightweight moisturizer, the Biome Recharging Enhanced Night Balm. It's called a balm. It is much lighter, I promise you. Hopefully you can see this texture. I'll, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Yeah, it comes with a scoop, by the way, which I absolutely feel that's something the community said we want scoops we want scoops yeah a balm or a very lightweight cream i would say very lightweight cream but it also comes with what looks like a sample sized serum and yet it's intentional this is called the 10 panthenol supporting concentrate and what you're supposed to do with this is you take a tiny amount of this product i don't know what a tiny amount entails to be honest with you do you think that's a tiny amount i don't know where are my fellow dry skin types who know how hard it is to maintain a tiny amount of skincare usage anyway you're supposed to take that and you spread that all over your face in an even layer and it has such an interesting texture to it if you're familiar with the Pyongkang yule moisture ampoule imagine that but imagine that being more lightweight it feels almost occlusive, a slight bit of tackiness to it. And the idea is that that's supposed to set the stage for this cream here so that instead of this feeling lightweight, once you apply it on top of that concentrate, it'll feel much more nourishing. And it does. It's kind of wild how the, the combination of even just these three products, it leaves your skin feeling so hydrated, moisturized, happy. Is, is happy. is happy a term we can use to describe our skin after using skincare? I think so. Can you look past my tiredness and see what I'm talking about and how my skin just has this incredible bouncy texture to it? It just looks deeply hydrated. It's really interesting. I feel like my only real objection with this kit is with this being 0.27 fluid ounces and this being 2.7 fluid ounces, I feel like I'm going to finish this off way before this. I'm about halfway through that product, whereas I don't think I'm halfway through the balm yet. I don't think so. And they really should just sell this individually because it's such an interesting product. They even say on the packaging that you can pair this with other products if you want that same nourishing experience. Yeah, this is, this is something special but it only comes in this teeny tiny size in this kit. Regardless, the reality is I really like this entire set. It may even be that my good experience with the Axis Y brand is stemming from this collection. Essential oils and all. I feel like most of the time my skincare experience is that I'll try out an entire brand and stick with, you know, maybe one or two products that I enjoyed from the brand and those get incorporated into this giant chaotic 
uh, choice of a routine, whereas this, I want to always use these products together. I like the system. I never say that. I think the only other system that I like is the Paracone MD Cold Plasma system. I like this system. And there's more. There is now a, a heavier cream. <sighs> Why did that not exist when I bought these Axis Y? And again, this is where I'm gonna go and put some Adapalene on and then follow with a heavier moisturizer. I might have to grab that cream and uh, see if that, plus my Adapalene in between here, the Adapalene sandwich, if that is everything, everything I could possibly want. I don't know what to tell y'all. I bought this kind of hoping, oh, I like Bifida, maybe I'll like this collection and I love it. I'm absolutely floored. But my friends, that's it. That's my Axis Y review. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are as surprised as I am. Let me know if any of you have tried this new collection or if you are avoiding it because why are there essential oils? The community really asked for essential oils. Ugh. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all next time.